So I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and uh, basically migrate your grades from Blackboard to WebAdvisor. So what that involves is you need to choose a, a column that's gonna be an external grade. So in order to choose a column that's gonna be the external grade, you select the gray circle and you select set as external grade. So in my class, the way I have it set up is I have the final grade um, column that I've created, which is a letter column. And then I have the average, because I like to see both. I like to see the average and then I like to see the final grade that I gave them, because at the end of the semester, sometimes I'll bump up their grade for participation um, and stuff like that. Um, but if you choose to use your average column, that's totally up to you. So I'll walk you how to do that. So with the average, what you want to do is you want to select it. You want to set it as external grade, and then you'll get a green check mark. And what that means is this is the column that Grades Journey is going to uh, use and transfer to Blackboard. And what you want to do with this column then is you want to click that gray arrow again and set and select edit column information. And once you do that, you'll be in this edit weighted column um, menu and you want to change the primary display to letter because that is what WebAdvisor is going to uh, recognize. And I'll go ahead and hit submit, click through that, and it'll say success, edited column average. Um, you also have the option to go ahead and edit your grading schema. And what the grading schema does is it determines what number is going to become what letter. So let's go into this and I can show you how to edit that. So you'll select the gray circle next to letter, hit edit. And then once you've done that, you can actually mess with these grades a little bit. So say that you definitely want a student who makes a 79.5 to have a B, you can make that change. So this would normally say 80, but you can say 79.5 um, is going to be a B. Um, and 89.5 is gonna be an A. And once you're happy with that schema, go ahead and hit submit and it will save those changes and it will change any grades in the grade center. So you gotta go click back to the grade center. And once you're done with that and you're happy with the averages that that reflects what the student got in the class, you'll click manage, grade approval and transfer and then it'll ask, clicking yes will release the grades for transfer. Do you wish to continue? You'll select yes. And then you'll get this green bar that says extract is scheduled. So these extracts or this extraction of the grade from Blackboard, they're scheduled every, scheduled every 15 minutes. And you'll get an email once it's complete. Once it's complete, you can log into WebAdvisor like you usually would to input grades, but then all the grades should be there for your students. And then all you have to do is check it against your gradebook and hit submit. And that's how you do it.